What is up, everybody? We're back with another RotoQL play of the day. We're taking a look at the Players' Championship today. There's a lot of really big contests. Over on DraftKings and FanDuel, we're going to be looking at DraftKings right now. Um, in the Players' Championship, there's carnage every single year. Um, we see chalky players, a, a lot of chalky players actually, miss the cut here year in and year out. So um, we're going to be looking for some of the high-priced guys you can feel really good about um, and who to sit in your lineups. And the guy who I'm looking at who, you know, taking projections and all that out of the equation for me is going to be Jason Day. And I kind of thought Jason Day was going to be super chalky this week, but going over to our uh, trending players tool, which for ownership is by far the best tool in the business, in my humble opinion, um, we can see he's not even in this top 10 right now for trending players. He's all the way down here at 16. Uh, if we sort that by salary... Uh, we can kind of see just all the guys around him, with the exception of Rory, uh, Spieth, Thomas, DJ, Ricky, Rom, Rose. Um, Stenson is probably going to go up now with the Paul Casey withdrawal. Obviously, Tiger. Um, Jason Day is going to be lower than all of those guys. You know, at eleven thousand four hundred dollars, you know the price is a little steep. I don't know what it is with the PGA. DFS community, just when a guy wins the week before, they don't want to play him the next week. Um, but Jason Day is an ideal fit for TBC Sawgrass. Former winner here, dominates on Pete Dye tracks, had some of his biggest wins in his career are at Pete Dye tracks. So Jason Day coming off a win last week at the Wells Fargo, going right back to him this week. He is your RotoQL PGA Play of the Day.